we're live with you now until mid midday. There's still loads more to come, including the phone-in. Did you fall in love at first sight? Well, Penelope and Tom were hit by a cruise love missile when they first saw each other, apparently. Bex dribbled over posh and Madonna. Uh, <laughs> Bex dribbled over posh. <laughs> Whoops, I started a new rumour there. Uh, and Madonna went crazy for her guy after just one date. So, does love always find a way? Did you fall in love at first sight? And what happened? Or did it all go horribly wrong? Or was it a match made in heaven? Please call us now on 0870-1101-101. And here's the rest. Saturday mornings will never be the same again, but you never know, they might be better. John is, as we speak, running over to the SMTV studio to talk with Kat and James Redmond next. It's sun, sea, sand and savings as Wish You Were Here's new girl Ruth England opens her suitcase to reveal sunshine breaks that won't break the bank at 11.45. And will the makeover team cross the finishing line on time? They're here with the results of our Penelope Pit Stop makeover at 11.50. It's hard enough stepping into someone else's shoes, but it's doubly difficult when there are four shoes to fill instead of two. Well, Hollyoaks heartthrob James Redmond is the one faced with the task of replacing Britain's best love entertainers, entertainers on SMTV Live. So, is he nervous? Well, I don't know about him being nervous, Fern, but I'm really nervous. This is Studio 2 of the London Studios. This is where SMTV is broadcast live to the nation every Saturday. As you can see, preparations are well underway. Bit of behind the scenes action for you. And uh, James is getting ready for his very first show tomorrow. Like so I'm going to say congratulations, James. Thank you very much. And welcome. Thank you. And happy and New Year to, to you, sir. How are you? You, you didn't have to dress up for me. Well, you know, nothing special. This is what we're rehearsing every Friday. Just our normal clothes, these. Oh, right. Mm. This is what I, I... I actually didn't know that you were rehearsed all day, but you're only here from like 10 o'clock in the morning, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, And we do a read-through on a Thursday as well. Organised chaos. It ah, is, you see. Always chaos. looks so good on the telly. So, James, first day tomorrow. Yeah. Um, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> How have rehearsals been going for you? Really, really good, actually. Everyone's been very helpful and friendly and, you know, accommodating. It's a good team here and Kat's been lovely and, you know, so it's all... I'm, I'm very nervous still because mm -hmm. it's, it's a new thing, so, you know, fingers crossed and hopefully I'll be all right. Right, you're pulling rank here because uh, you're the doctor, really, aren't you? That's yeah. But I'm a sister, though. Ah, OK. So you give as good as yeah. you get. Yeah, don't certainly do. Sorry, I'm very... We should just explain, actually. We're doing, we're doing a title sequence. No, don't explain. No, don't explain. <laughs> oh, I should. My mother will start to worry, I have to tell her. <laughs> Leave um, it as it is. We're doing a title sequence for a, a new part of the show that's um, a kind of Mickey take on casualty called Casually. Right. Yeah. So we're going to do a title sequence in just a few moments, so that's why we're all dressed up uh, in the gear. I was going to say, because James, what are you going to bring to the show? Because hopefully you'll, you will keep a few of the traditional elements, you know, yeah. wonky donkey and, and the goal and things. Are that, things like that staying? What's staying and what's we've going? Got, um, casually, which is the new thing that Kat just mentioned. Plus we've got 2099 or 2019, I'm not sure how you say it yet. Which was the space series from the last series, but it's a new generation. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but we're still doing Eat My Goal and Ring to Win and... Uh, we're not doing chums this week, but it may come back, you know. With, It'll with, come uh, back, oh, but um, oh, with uh, new yeah. twists and stuff like that, and, and possibly Wonky Dunky will come yeah. back too. So there will be all the all the old favourites, but with loads of new stuff and brand new ideas. It's new year, new ideas, new presenter. Yes. I and like that, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe he's not somewhere. Thanks, and congratulations, uh, James, on getting what must be one of the best jobs in telly, because it, yeah. it is. I mean, Saturday morning telly, it's always a coveted position, but I mean, especially on this show. How, yeah. how did you go about getting it, or did they come for you? I came on as a guest and sort of really enjoyed it, you know, and um, they kind of just spoke to me and asked me if I'd like to do it, and I was, I was thinking, well, they must mean just once, you know, and then mm. they said, no, come down and do an audition, and then I, I couldn't because I was working so hard on Hollyoaks, and then I kind of came down again as a guest and again, and then just really enjoyed it, and it's just the kind of place that I want to be if I'm doing live TV you know you yeah. can mess up and it kind of improves it it's funnier you know and it's a good atmosphere here and I watch it you know and I'm, I'm 30 so it must be pretty good you know it's a few he, levels he came down once and we couldn't get rid of him so we thought well rather than <laughs> rather than try and kick him out embrace him into the family not tell people that. Sorry, yeah, okay. no, yes. but we put it to a vote in the office as well with all the girls and went and so what do it. you think of James Redman right. and everybody put their hands up so well I don't I don't know if this is one of your debuts uh, James but it's certainly one of your early days on SMTV let's have a look with the lovely I don't know what you were dressed as <laughs> stop it hi dad thinks I'm a beautiful swan. Has he been to the opticians lately? <laughs> well, we all wear glasses in our family. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> stronger ones. Yes. Now, that's why he calls me his ugly duckling. 
Uh, what would you call me and why? Well, I can't think of anything funny or interesting to say at all, but I am a millionaire. <laughs> Well, he sounds good to me, love. He, he certainly does. does. And, and obviously impressed the right people. Mm. Millionaire then, model, actor, <laughs> now presenter, and, you know, a fairly big hit with the girls. How are you going to cope with this kind of attention you're going to get now? Well, I need that moustache back because I can't grow one. <laughs> That'd be good. You know, a nice sort of, I don't know, Tom Selleck look. I think yes. I'll try and go for if I can get that moustache back. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward to live, live TV and a new challenge, you know, having done Hollyoaks for four years and... Uh, learnt a lot there. Hopefully I can bring some of that to this and fingers crossed as I keep saying, yeah. you know. I'm Man of many talents. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kat, congratulations on the, on the BAFTA as well. Thank well you done very much. as well. Yeah. It was a total surprise. Yes, yeah. No, 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 it seriously was. There was, um, I, I, it was a real, real, real surprise. That was for best television, children's television mm. presenter, yes. yes. Mm. So I was, I was thrilled to get it, but I was very, very surprised. And Simon Cowell was very pleased to give it me, yes. instead of the lads. There he was. <laughs> he actually had a bit of a dig, but it was very cool. So you won the BAFTA. I mean, you must be Queen Bee now, kind of thing. You've been here the longest, kind of thing, you know? Are you um, in charge now? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit, but not, but not, not kind of any more than anybody else, really. I, I mean, I just know a bit more, probably, because I've been doing it for three and a half years, and you can't right. fail to learn. Three and a half. Uh, yeah, three yeah. and a half years it's been going now. Yeah. First year, nobody watched it, though, so that doesn't really count. <laughs> but you soon turned the tables. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Now, I've got to get this straight, because you two are actually the main hosts, right? Um, mm -hmm. But you have got other kind of helpers around, or yeah. presenters, so to speak. We do. Who and, and what are going to be doing? We're being joined by the lovely Tess Daly. Lovely Tess Daly. And Brian Dowling, as well. Yeah. Is, is going to be on the show. From Big Brother? From Big Brother, uh -huh. yeah. Um, basically to help us out during lots of sketches and, and the post bag and all different things. It's basically to get a really good atmosphere going in the, in the studio. And also with all the sketches that we do, a lot of times guests don't get a chance to rehearse until the Saturday morning when they come in. So it's really good to get four of us that all know what's going on in the sketches mm. so we can save it if we need to or... Plus, they're kind of new to it too, so I don't feel so bad, you know, having to ask Kat, what's up next, what am I yeah, doing? Yeah. Quick, help me. You know, they're doing that a bit as well, so I've, I kind of felt better in rehearsals with them being Right, there. what's been the biggest surprise to you then, James? I mean, what, what's uh, kind of hit you and you thought, oh, didn't expect this? Um, I don't know, actually. The uniforms? Um, uh, I was about to say. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm pleased with the uniforms. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a good thing, I think. They're Tess really is back, that. back there wearing a similar thing, so yeah, it's, it's been, you know... Uh, a very easy morning. Tess as well. Yeah, so... Uh, you see Fern, you see Fern, you don't get dressed up like this, you know. You, you, no, she, do you, do you, Fern? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I love to see Fern. Fern. <laughs> yes. Monday, have you got big changes for you, Fern? <laughs> Come on down, Fern. Come on down. <laughs> hey, a sister and a half. Right, well, listen, good luck tomorrow. Thank you oh, very much. No, Thank you very James, much, Jeff. Cheers. All the best, much. mate. It's going to be live, Taylor. It'll be exciting. You'll love Fingers it. Fingers crossed. And uh, we'll be watching. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Sure. And uh, we'll see if it's actually one of uh, Ian Highland's picks of the ball because that's what's coming up on this morning just after this.